Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And earlier this morning, Verizon announced their quarterly earnings. This is their first quarter for 2019. And in my opinion, it was so-so. They lost around 44,000 customers total, and they gained a little, little over 200,000. So on Thursday, when we see T-Mobile's earnings, I'm expecting them to do a lot better. And if this continues, even as a standalone, Verizon is going to have to become more aggressive as T-Mobile is going to continue growing and growing and growing. So what really stole the spotlight this morning was them announcing the Google partnership that they're going to offer YouTube TV to their wireless and Fios subscribers. So currently it is unknown what this will cost. Um, I'm sure it'll be an add-on, but it won't be free like Apple Music, but it is rumored to be at a discounted rate. So you as a Verizon wireless customer or Fios, you're going to be able to sign up for YouTube TV at a discounted rate. And I'm sure there's going to be other options as well for more channels and you could pick your channels and all that good stuff. But that kind of stole the spotlight. And also, although they took a loss and didn't gain as many customers, of course, Verizon once again posted a big profit and that made them uh for the of course for the uh 2019 year raise their guidance on profit um they're going to make money regardless so is at&t even if they post a loss tomorrow but verizon says that only about 50 to 60 percent of their customer base currently has has unlimited the rest uh the other 130 uh i mean not 130 I mean, the other percentage uh, currently is not on Unlimited, so there's still gro growth there to be made. And of course, the uh, new partnership, there's also growth there. Uh, people can sign up, uh, anybody. So there's also further growth to be uh, to come from this. And of course, people will uh, eventually switch over to uh, take advantage of this deal. Um, so this is definitely going to create uh, foot traffic online and in-store. So I just wanted to post this video for you guys to keep you guys up to date. Tomorrow is AT&T's quarterly earnings, so I'm tuned in for that. And then on Thursday, uh, T-Mobile has their uh, YouTube earnings call, so I'm definitely going to tune in for that. Sprint currently has not released a date as to when they will report their quarterly earnings, but I'm sure it will be soon. So definitely leave all your comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about this deal. If you are on another carrier, would you consider switching for this partnership um or are you going i mean of course most of you guys are going to wait what the pricing is going to be like but just let me know in the comment section do you think verizon had a good quarter like i said in my opinion i i, I think it was so so um, they're going to have to do a lot better if t-mobile is going to keep gaining over 2 million customers a quarter uh throughout this year and then going forward so definitely stay tuned to the channel lots more content coming if you're new to the channel, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload content. Also, make sure to follow all of my social media outlets for more updates. And this is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next quarter. I mean, in the next video. Peace.